Mastering adverbs of frequency in questions and negatives. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another exciting episode of our English grammar series. Today, we're focusing on a very important topic, adverbs of frequency. Specifically, we're going to explore how these adverbs are positioned in questions and negative sentences. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of where to place these adverbs, helping you sound more fluent and natural in your English conversations. First things first, let's refresh our memory about adverbs of frequency. These are adverbs like always, often, usually, sometimes, rarely, never, and so on. They answer the question, how often, an action is done. Now, these adverbs have a specific position in the sentence, and today, we're going to focus on their place in questions and negatives. When asking questions in English, adverbs of frequency usually go after the subject. For example, do you often go to the gym? Or, has she always lived here? Remember, this is not always the case, but it's a good general rule to start with. Now, when it comes to negative sentences, things get a bit different. In negatives, we typically place the adverb of frequency between the auxiliary verb and the main verb. Here are some examples. I don't often go to the gym, or, she hasn't always lived here. But language is often full of exceptions, right? There are cases where the adverb of frequency may come at the beginning or at the end of the sentence. For instance, sometimes, I go to the gym, or, I go to the gym sometimes. The same applies to questions and negatives. Please note that there is often a slight difference in emphasis when the adverb is moved. Usually, the emphasis is on the information that comes first. So, sometimes, I go to the gym, would put a bit more emphasis on the frequency, sometimes, than, I go to the gym sometimes. And there you have it. With this guide, you should be able to correctly position adverbs of frequency in both questions and negative sentences. Remember, practice makes perfect. So don't hesitate to make lots of sentences to reinforce your understanding. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope this video was helpful. Keep practicing, keep learning, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy learning!